What is going on, Nerd Paraders? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang here with us today as we play some more ARK Survival Evolved. That's right, your favorite nerd, the legend, is back in ARK. And we're doing some really cool Project Old School stuff. For the purpose of this video, we're going to assume that you already know what Project Old School is. However, if you don't, check out discord.gg slash nerdparade for more info, as well as some of the previous videos here on the YouTube channel detailing what Project Old School is and what it's all about. So going further, further and further, introductions are in order. I am Nick, this is Nerd Braid. Welcome once again to the channel. Thank you very much for coming to hang with me. So today's video is going to get into uh, one of the creatures that we're completely redoing in Project Old School. So we're gonna do like a targeted video on this specific creature. You already know what it is because you looked at the thumbnail and you saw the video title. It's going to be the Scorpion. But if you're unfamiliar with what we're doing in Project Old School, we're kind of revamping all of the creatures. Never again will there be a creature in Ark Survival Evolved that you look at and you're like, meh, it's just a meh creature. I don't really care that much about scorpions or what have you. Never again. So we had a couple of dudes who were wandering around down here and I see two of them. And if you're familiar with the Previous video that I put out on Project Old School detailing our complete overhaul of the Ingram system. We're gonna try to get lucky by murdering one of them and then taming the other. Which one? Which one? No, they're running away from me. Which one wants to be on the? Okay, you for you first. Um, stab them. Okay, we stabbed the level three scorpion. Are we gonna get lucky? Hmm. We just killed a scorpion. Are we having ideas? We had an idea. We just had a miraculous idea, and we have stabbed the scorpion and learned how to make a saddle for it because we just encountered this giant ass scorpion in nature never before have we seen a scorpion this large we're like hmm i got an idea after slaughtering that puppy i can make something to ride it also what i was hoping to unlock but we didn't because this system is rng based if you're following project old school you have a chance of unlocking things based on creatures that you kill the scorpion is one of the qualifying creatures for night night stuff considering the scorpion can put things to sleep such as narcotics, trike arrows, and the like. So you'd be unlocking those by killing creatures like, like such as the scorpion. Uh, I have a, an ascendant pike and 600 melee, so I can slaughter things instantaneously just to make this a little bit easier for a showcase video. But for this guy, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go to our command line and we're going to cheat force, if I can spell it right, Tommy. We're going to force Tommy this guy. Did we force Tommy him? Oh, sweet, we did. And since we tommy a creature, that's tamed, by the way. I'm saying it wrong on purpose. Don't yell at me in the comments. We have learned how to make the soul trap. We could trap the soul of the scorpion and the pokeball of amazingness. All right, let's do our whistles, not I. Now let's do an unfollow. Okay, we're going to hop on you. Okay, we're, we're hopped on the scorpion, and we're going to showcase something that makes the scorpion the absolute coolest ever. Or at least improves it and will make you want to tame it. <laughs> that was a, a weak display, but uh, we also gave the scorpion some sick hops. Why? Because why not? We're going to make creatures jump. We feel like, I, I hope I don't die to fall damage, but we made the scorpion hop. That's it. That's the end of this video. Scorpion can jump now. Badass creature. Amazing. So cool. We love Nerd Parade. Thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Just kidding. Although you should definitely do that stuff I mentioned before. The scorpion is not just a hoppy bug now. Although it really, it truly is. So... One of the things that I've always wanted from a dinosaur in Ark Survival Evolved is something that would assist you with knocking out creatures and help you with your taming. The scorpion for us seemed like a perfect candidate to redesign to give it that trank dart effect that we always knew that it could have. So let me do something here. We're going to go to infinite stats and we'll do god mode as well. Because we're going to try to knock this Parasaur out and show you just how powerful it is. So we're, we're going to pull up the Spyglass here. It's zero of 159 Torps. We're going to go boom, a boom, a boom, and night night. <laughs> a boom, a boom, a boom, and night night. Go to sleep. So the reason why I went into infinite stats and the reason why I went into god mode is because... Since our Scorpion is now going to be one of our preferred night night creatures... Uh, that you can use to trank out dinosaurs, which I feel like it always should have been. In exchange, it's a little bit squishier, so it's likely to get uh, pooped on. So, to go even further into detail with this, 
and show off even more, which is really super cool. We're going to pull, pull our, spl our, our spli glass, and you're going to see that the health is 200 and 165, counting down to 164, so on and so forth. Let's hop back on our Scorp. Let's put our spy glass away, and we're going to... It's still 200 health. The scorpion has zero actual physical damage, so that you can use them for taping. For taming, you get stung by the scorpion, like, "Ow, oh, that hurt a little," uh, but you're like, "Oh, time to sleep." It's not necessarily a deadly creature, but it is a fantastic creature for utility. Like I said in the previous video with Project Old School stuff, is we're creating a niche, a speciality for each creature or dinosaur on the ark and they're gonna have strengths and they're gonna have weaknesses never again will you look at a scorpion and be like oh those kind of suck i don't want one of those you're gonna look at scorpions and be like oh my god i can, that can be so useful i can tame so much cool stuff so we're moving on from parasaurs to the chickle ticket take that chickle ticket yeah chickle Ch get chickled yeah. Ch go to sleep go to sleep yeah. go to sleep as you can see <laughs> He's a he's working. He's working his way. He's probably gonna pass out on the run. I gotta chase him down. Obviously, a chickle ticket's gonna be harder to trank out than a wow. He's really running. Than a uh, paraser. You can hunt bigger game based on the melee skill of your scorpion. He's <laughs> still running. Come back, chickle ticket. I should have probably made some sort of pin for him or her. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There he is! Go to sleep, Chickle Ticket! Chickle Ticket, level 2. 980 torpor max. 952, 50. Oh, he's, count he's counting down quick. Alright, let's. Oh no, he's about to wake up, and we need to make sure that he's got narcotics. No, you don't. Book! 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 <laughs> So as I mentioned, the scorpion is the super night-night dino now. You can tame, or you can knock out for taming, any creature on the arc. Based on, you know, the kind of creatures, obviously a chickle ticken, even though this is only level 2. A chickle ticken is going to be much more difficult to knock out than a paraser. A giga is going to be much more difficult to knock out than a chickle ticken. And you're likely going to want... A couple of scorpion, maybe a tribe on scorpions, and you could completely forego using trank arrows or eh, like assume that it's a titanosaur and you got to use cannons and and catapults and stones and hit it in the head. You can use this method, and it's something that I've always really wanted from a creature in Ark Survival Evolved. Something that you can utilize a creature with to assist you in the taming process. Uh, and in this case, the knocking out process. This was our, like, number one goal for the Scorpion, and I'm really, really excited to play along with it. But keep in mind, I did put this guy in infinite stats and god mode. The Scorpions, in exchange for their super torpiness, are kind of squishy. As well as they do zero physical damage. It's all poison damage for sleepy time. This is going to do it for our little showcase on the Scorpion. Something that I always really enjoyed in Old School Arc, one of the classic uh, creatures that we had. When I first started playing on Official, there was a small tribe that I'll never forget. There was a small tribe that lived up here in these mountains, actually, in this region. They had a base up here, and the whole tribe rode around on scorpions. They just liked scorpions. It was really cool, but... That was back in the day when people actually just tamed the creatures because they liked them and thought that they were cool. They weren't like, oh, a scorpion, it really doesn't have any use for me. Trash, and just skip over it. And that's what I'm wanting to bring back so badly with Project Old School is that mentality that we're going to tame creatures just because we like them, not because they like have some kind of super meta use in Ark Survival Evolved. Well, we gave each creature in Ark Survival Evolved Project Old School a its own meta. And I am super excited about it. Yeah, yeah, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. Yeah, sleepy time. Ha ha ha, later, bitch.
<laughs> so have fun with your super knockout scorpions. Keep in mind, they are squishy, and you might want an escort, because if they weren't a little squishy, they might be too overpowered. But with their sleep sleeps, have fun taming all the things. Take care of yourselves out there, stay awesome, and until the next one, come and hang with us real soon. Later.